What's up guys, Aaron here with a retro unboxing of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Welcome back and let's go ahead and dive straight into the unboxing. Now first off I'd like to state that this is a package and bundle deal which will be linked down below. So first off we have Super Mario Bros. 3. Next we have the original Mario Bros. with Duck Hunt. Next we have a 3-in-1 charging AC adapter that works for the NES, the Super NES, along with Sega Genesis. Also included in the bundle is an original Nintendo Zapper. The way to know if you have an original Nintendo Zapper is if it's this color, as a few years later Nintendo changed the entire color of the gun to the same color as the trigger, which is like a reddish color. We also have remote number one followed by remote number two. The bundle does include one original adapter, which did come originally with the Nintendo. And lastly we have the star of the show, the Nintendo itself. The console is in great condition, there is a couple minor scuffs, however that is to be expected from a console that was released in 1985. The top of the console houses an air vent along with a lid to install the game. On the right side is both the audio and video jack and on the bottom we have four rubber feet. And located on the back is our AC adapter charging port as well as our channel 3 and channel 4 option switch along with our AF switch. Opening up the lid on the bundled Nintendo system reveals Super Mario Bros. 2. And that's because this particular bundle option includes Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, as well as Duck Hunt. Now before we go any further with the video, let me know down in the comments section below if you guys would like to see some retro gaming here on the channel. And if you would, let me know on which particular games. Also, I have two more sets of complete gaming systems coming into the studio. So if you guys would like to see a giveaway on these particular retro gaming systems, let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below and a comment down in the comment section. Taking a closer look at the controller, one end plugs into the gaming system itself, while the other end of the remote houses all input with a joypad that not only moves up, down, left, and right, but also in diagonal angles, along with a select button for selecting certain items and a start button to pause the game. And lastly, we have a little bit of Nintendo branding as well as our B and A buttons. Taking a closer look at the Nintendo Zapper, one end of the cord plugs into the console itself, while the other end houses the actual Nintendo Zapper gun with a little bit of Nintendo branding, we get a trigger as well as the actual aiming device. I'm officially starting a Nintendo NES collection, so if you guys are interested in following along with my collection, I will be sharing these particular photos on Instagram and on Twitter at Retro Games and the Nintendo NES. Both links will be down below. Now before I head out of here, let's go ahead and check out some still images. <laughs> guys that's going to do it for me in this video i can't wait to bring you guys some gameplay once again let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see that and also make sure you follow along as i grow my collection and let me know down in the comment section below and also by leaving a like rating on this video if you would like to see a giveaway if you're interested in further information pricing and availability all relevant links will be located down in the video description if you have not yet subscribed to the channel now's a great time to hit that subscribe button you'll be notified in your inbox every time i upload a new video I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.